Hello there, this is a short video just to give an explanation on how you can replace measures in your Power BI report. So the scenario is that you have a Power BI report, much like this one. It's all good, ready to go, you're very happy with it. But all of a sudden you realize you need to make some changes in the model. You need to rename some measures, you want to move some measures around. So you go ahead and do that. You could do it in Power BI Desktop or you could also do it in Tabular Editor. Right now, I'm going to do it in Tabular Editor. So I have Tabular Editor open, and I realize I want to rename my measure tables. I want to rename this measure table to Actuals. I want to rename this measure table to Targets. And I want to rename this to Measures versus Target. Or actually, let's just call it Comparison. Okay, so if I save these changes now, it's writing those changes to the database that's deployed in our workspace, so into our model. But if I'm going to now refresh my report, what will actually happen is that everything breaks that's using measures inside of those tables. And the reason for that is because that the measures in a report actually use the table in the report metadata. So the table reference actually has meaning in the report. Uh, so, but more importantly, how do we fix this? So we see that we have all these gray boxes of death. It tells us that there's a problem with the fields, one or more fields. And we can see that it has the name of the former table here, measures actuals. So what we actually would have to do is normally we would have to manually go through and replace these values. But if we were to do that, we would lose all the formatting. And this is just going to cost us a whole lot of time, especially when we have multiple pages, multiple visuals. This takes forever. So what we end up doing is we end up avoiding changes to the model once we've created the reports that are connected to that model. And that's obviously problematic because we might want to rename things. We might want to move things around. So how do we deal with this? Well, there is a way that we can deal with this. There is a solution. Uh, what we have to do is we first have to save this report as a PBIP format. So first, what we have to do is we have to go into options, preview features, and we actually have to enable this option here. Power BI project save option. And this is gonna allow us to save these files, our reports as a PBIP file. If you don't know what a PBIP file is, that's basically a different kind, a new kind of Power BI file that allows you to see the contents. So previously a PBIX file didn't let you see what was inside of it, but a PBIP file can. So we've enabled PBIP uh, save file format and we're gonna go ahead and save this report. So we're gonna save it here as a PBIP file. So make sure you select the PBIP format here and save it somewhere where it has its own folder. So in this case, I've created a folder just for it called MTD flash report. So it's the title of the report. And then we're going to save it in this folder. So I'm going to replace it. So I've saved now the report in this folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to fix all these broken visuals by opening up this PBIP file. So what we're going to do is we're going to close Power BI Desktop. We're going to open our finder and we're going to go into where we've saved this PBIP. So we have this PBIP file. If we double click on this, it will open it in Power BI Desktop. That's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to open this report folder here. And what this has is this has all of the metadata or basically the definition of your report. And we want to go in there and we want to do a simple find and replace for all of those changes we made because we don't want to do that manually. It would take us hours. So we're going to open this report JSON and I'm opening it right now in Visual Studio Code. And what we see here is this is actually a very nested JSON that has the definition for our report. It has all the visuals inside, it's all the metadata. So this is a human readable uh, format of what our report is actually. 
So everything up until this point is officially supported. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. However, the moment we make a change here, uh, this is going to be something that's not officially supported. So, and the reason is because if we were to delete some of this, uh, it would of course make our report unable to open, right? We would break our report. So before we do this, what we want to do is we want to go back into the finder and we want to take a copy of our report.json. So, and we want to just put that copy somewhere else as a backup, just in case we make a mistake. So we got our backup. So what we now want to do is we want to go in and we want to make the same changes we made to our model, but in our report. So we renamed uh, our various measure tables. So for instance, we had measures versus target. And we see that here. So we have this three measures versus target. So we can find that. We have 161 instances of this table. And we can see that there's a lot of places where this is broken. So we now want to replace it with what we've renamed it to, which is comparison. So we're just going to change that to comparison. And then we're going to hit replace all. Now we want to do the same thing with our uh, next one. So which is measures targets. So we change this to targets, as we see here. So we change this one to targets. So we'll do the same thing. And we'll do it also for measures actuals, which we renamed to actuals. So we've now made the same changes that we've made in our model inside of our report metadata. And it just took us a few seconds. So we now just want to save that report.json. We want to close it. And then we want to reopen this report. So, and now if we've done everything correctly, then everything will be fixed in our report and it will have all of those renamed values. None of those visuals will be broken again and everything will be fixed. So let's see. So it's loading the report. We can see we have our model here. The report is starting to load, it's thinking. And indeed, everything is fixed. Not necessarily performant, but fixed. So you can see that just in a very short amount of time, we've been able to do something which otherwise would have taken us hours if we had to do it manually in Power BI Desktop. So again, this is not something that's officially reported, modifying the report.json, but it's something that can save you a tremendous amount of time it's fairly easy and it's just a very good trick to know to help you be more efficient when you're working with the model in the reports. So keep this trick in mind. Again, to recap, you save as a PBIP, you open that PBIP, you open the report.json, you take a copy of it as a backup, you do any find and replace in the report.json uh, corresponding to the changes that you want to make. And then when you open the report again, those changes will be visible in the report. So just a very quick tip, uh, something that saved me a ton of time. I hope it saves you a lot of time as well. Uh, otherwise, good luck and have fun making reports.